I'm not going to argue with you about Atheism Plus. It could have been something wonderful, but it's being academic, intellectual theorizing and speculation in lieu of actually getting work done. And to me, that's a big disappointment. Now look, I don't know why any atheist would have any problem with the concept of patriarchy, even in Western culture. Given the religions, how can you not see it? Now you may look at some middle class white Anglo-Saxon Protestant women in your community and say, oh, they've got equality, but that's not all the women on the planet, sir. And even the women that you think are have equality and are trying to dominate the world and using the patriarchy as an excuse to feel sorry for themselves, you are in a discussion about douching. Well, in your video you say, oh yeah, I agree, it's completely unnecessary, and you just sort of brushed it off. Which means you're only looking at it at the most superficial possible level and n not really hearing what people were telling to each other. And that is about how women are taught to perceive our bodies. From Adam and Eve, we've been told that childbirth is to be painful because Eve sinned. Women are the source of original sin. Mary had to be a virgin because Jesus could not have been born of sin or filth. I was taught as a young child that what was between my legs was nasty and evil. As I reached adolescence and puberty, I was told that what was between my legs was not only evil, but it, that I should be ashamed and embarrassed. And I come from a generation where sanitary pads did not have adhesive. They didn't glue to one's underpants. <coughs> we had a garter device, cheaply made, so that it had to be replaced frequently because the elastic would wear out, the clips would break. It had metal clips to hold the pad in place. Those clips would pull at pubic hair and pull it out. I would have raw rashes all over my pubic area. They would cut my flesh. I'd have to sit on the clip in the back. It would cut into my anus. They would spring open. And I'd have to find a way to get to a restroom before it fell out of my underpants at school. They leaked. They still do, from what I understand. Uh, sanitary pads are physically uncomfortable to sit on. They cause diaper rash and don't say that we're nasty for not changing our Kotex when you're in school or at a job. You are assigned your breaks and it's not based on your menstrual flow or how much perspiration you have between your legs and believe me they make you sweat. The kind that have the liner on the bottom to so that the leaks won't come out the bottom of it that are never wide enough you never have a pair of panties that aren't messed up. But the liner on the bottom keeps you from sweating. Keeps the sweat from evaporating. They can also wick fecal matter and cause infections. And then people laugh and call us fish for having a smell. The other thing is we're not taught about our bodies we're not taught to wipe from the front to the back. We have problems with fecal matter 
getting in the vaginal area. We're not taught about our bodies at all. The first time I felt my clitoris, I thought I was, as we called it back then, a hermaphrodite. It's now called intersexed. I thought something was wrong with me. I was terrified. I didn't understand my labia. I didn't understand my vagina, my cervix, nothing. I didn't understand any of it. We're taught not to touch ourselves, which means we can't really groom very well, some of us, the ones who believe that. We're taught that we're filthy, that we're a source of disease and sin, and that we have to be oh, always on guard and on watch because somebody will try to hurt us because we have female genitalia. We're taught them. Now you're not going to prove all that with bonobo chimps and all that. This is anecdotal evidence and oh brush it off. It's not data. They used to call the menses the curse. In some places I'm sure they still did. In some cultures to this day, it's in the Bible even, about bring proof of her virginity from the chamber when the husband has sex with his bride for the first time to prove that she's a virgin. Make her bleed. If women knew more about our own bodies, we would know you don't have to rip a person open to have sex with them the first time. They don't have to bleed. In fact, if you are bleeding while having penetration, you're not doing it right. In this country, they're teaching abstinence only now. So young girls know even less about their bodies, and the pregnancy rates are going through the roof. Because we don't have any control of our own bodies. And what little control we do have, they want to take away. They want to make it so that we can't get contraception through our health insurance at work if our employer is Catholic. That was just ruled on in Michigan, I think. Our health care through our employer, we can't get contraception. A woman in Ireland who just died because her doctor told her this is a Catholic country and we're not going to give you an abortion. Completely preventable death. Atheists need to be working with us. It's not all airy fairy shit. It's patriarchal culture. It's better now than it was when I was a young woman in some respects, but not for working class and poor women, it's not. And not on most parts of the planet, it's not. It's not, things aren't better. Things are getting worse. Look at the killing gays bill in Uganda. The fundamentalists taking over sexuality. Look at so-called corrective rape in South Africa. Women who don't fit the gender stereotypes, who don't that the gender binary of looking feminine enough are being raped because they're thought to be lesbians, whether they are or not, and are being violently raped to correct their perversion. It's real. Men who think they can't be soft and compassionate, that they have to be hard and bitter and brutes, that have no integration of their emotions. Dying of heart attacks. Under total stress. Completely in denial about who they are emotionally. We can't proceed as a species unless we acknowledge the fact that we're highly evolved apes and we have emotions and we need to integrate that. It's a patriarchy. Now, why that's perceived as a threat <clears throat> in some circles of atheism, I don't know. But you're playing into the hands of fundamentalist Christians and fundamentalist Muslims and Orthodox Jews and others.
can't prove that with bonobos. Maybe if a lot of people are talking about this stuff, maybe there might be something to it. And maybe we could use some help. It's fine to be skeptical. But to just dismiss it as useless is no better than buying it all hook, line, and sinker without thinking about it either. There's skepticism and then there's prejudice. It took me a long time to learn to live my body. And in this culture, because of my age, because of my disabilities, because of my lack of health care, teeth, my poor nutrition, I'm considered so repulsive and ugly that now that I've come into my own, I can't find a worthy partner. I don't need my life debunked. I don't need to be told to be silent because I can't produce data. I need help to get there. We have valid concerns. We have real damage. So do you. Let's work together. Let's change it. Let's make it better. We don't have to be enemies. We don't have to compete. We need to cooperate. <laughs>